This video is an exploration of the topic solving a word problem involving a sum and another basic relationship using a system of linear equations. This topic requires you to be able to translate information from a word problem into equations. The best way to learn how to do this is to practice. Let's do an example. The sum of two numbers is 93. One number is twice as large as the other. What are the two numbers? First, we must assign variables to the two numbers discussed in the problem. We will let x be the larger number and y be the smaller number. Does it matter what variable we pick for each number? No, it doesn't matter. You can use any variable that you would like. Just make sure that you are consistent with the notation. We can now translate the information into equations. Let's look at the statement, the sum of two numbers is 93. Because x and y denote both numbers, we can write x plus y equals 93. Now let's look at the statement, one number is twice as large as the other. This says that the larger number x is equal to two times the smaller number y. We can write x equals 2y. Now we have a system of equations that we can use to solve for x and y. Using the method of substitution, we can substitute 2y into the first equation for x. We write 2y plus y equals 93, and 2y plus y is equal to 3y, so now we can write 3y equals 93. Next, we divide both sides of the equation by 3 and write y equals 31. Now we can substitute 31 for y in the second equation x equals 2 times 31, and this simplifies to x equals 62. Now we know the two numbers. The smaller number is 31, and the larger number is 62. That makes sense. Can we do another example? Of course. At a movie theater, the concession stand sold soda and bags of popcorn. The combined number of items sold during one movie was 162. The number of sodas sold was 22 more than the bags of popcorn sold. Find the number of sodas sold and the number of bags of popcorn sold. Let x be the number of sodas sold and y be the number of bags of popcorn sold. If the combined total of both sodas and bags of popcorn sold was 162, this means that x plus y will equal 162. Can you translate the second equation? The number of sodas sold was 22 more than the bags of popcorn sold. So, more soda was sold than bags of popcorn. Since x is the number of sodas and y is the number of bags of popcorn, I think the equation should be x equals 22 plus y. That's correct. Now we can solve the system of equations. We can use the substitution method and substitute 22 plus y from the second equation into the first equation for x. Now we can write 22 plus y plus y equals 162. Combine like terms and we write 22 plus 2y equals 162. Subtract 22 from both sides of the equation and write 2y equals 140. Last, divide both sides of the equation by 2 and write y equals 70. Then use the second equation, x equals 22 plus y, and substitute 70 for y. We will have x equals 22 plus 70. This is equal to x equals 92. Let's check our work by going back to the original problem. We can see that 92 sodas and 70 bags of popcorn total 162 items. We can also see that 92 sodas and 70 bags of popcorn show that the number of sodas is 22 more than the number of bags of popcorn. We have solved the system of linear equations and determined that 92 sodas and 70 bags of popcorn were sold.